Uh, I was actually a producer first and I started doing that around the mid 90s um, and it was actually my career from about 1998 and uh, the DJing followed about five years later. Uh, I think you've got to have confidence in your own ability and uh, obviously know the business and, and know the scene and um, most importantly you've got to be very passionate about what you do. Um, I've always been into electronic music so not been a big fan of the band stuff although I have to say in a few productions um, over the years I've actually brought in some of the band elements and I uh, quite like it you know as long as it's got an electronic sort of foundation to it. I mean it depends if it's a vocal track or an instrumental. Um, with vocal tracks I often like to start with having a song first and uh, building the track around that. Um, then it's a case of um, building some rhythm, some bass, and then concentrate on the melodies and then pulling it all together and arranging it out. I think it's a few things. Uh, around the end of the 90s, particularly in the UK, uh, there was this massive trance explosion and um, I did a load of remixes and uh, many, many of them actually went in the charts here. And also had a couple of hits myself, um, Surreal You Take My Breath Away and Drifting Away and those two really catapulted me uh, in the early days. I had a few ideas for the album title, but uh, Harmonic Motion just seemed to have that ring to it. I think it represents what, what I'm doing at the moment as well, and that's uh, focusing on melody and also groove and bringing it together. If it's a vocal track, then often the, uh, the title will come from the song. Um, if it's an instrumental, then I will literally listen to it a few times after I've finished it and uh, come up with a name that I think suits it. Um, but sometimes you already have a title in mind if you want to do something about particular subject. Uh, well between now and the end of the year there will be uh, a bunch of singles from the album. Um, the next one actually is called Strong Believer and it's out now. Coming up um, my radio show celebrating two years and 50 episodes. Also in the studio I'm already working on some new stuff for next year. Uh, some tasty collaborations but I can't announce anything just yet. I'm Lange, thanks to Paul Nova and Residence TV for the interview. And greetings to all music lovers in Argentina, especially in Cordoba, where Paul is from, and uh, hope to see you soon.